welcome 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 back to the realist channel on youtube has the day finally arrived where we'll see leon on a misfit show listen people um this is interesting this was interesting it was unexpected it was even unexpected for me because you know the real wheels podcast shout out to real wheels shout out to leon shout out to joseph shout out to the whole squad that helped put that podcast together for you people i just was joking with lee this is how the whole feud with him and idris virgo started is i was trolling with him i was like hey it just might call you out and then lee being the fact that he is although we we've, we've never seen lee in the ring he has been in the ring multiple times before in different disciplines and his spirit screams fighting i said yeah lee he might he might call you out still me never i'll make him piss blood and obviously i'm busting up in the video because i really didn't expect that reaction but you know that's how lee feels if war is at his door he's willing to fight idris virgo obviously has seen the video and rightfully so as the man that he is has said yo you can't say that about me let's get it on leon says yeah come to west ham on saturday obviously that's where we get the work done that's our stomping ground so he said yeah come down there and let's see what go on idris virgo now says nah this has to be a misfits team 10 ounce gloves six rounds no head guards a real fight i think okay this automatically gets more interesting because now we could potentially see leon on a misfit show and i know you know we've got a good relationship with mams it won't be hard to create if that is the situation and what the people want to see idris virgo he's been annoying me recently just because he's doing a lot of bullying we're not a fan of bullying over here and for him to be a 12 and 0 professional calling out slim saying that he's a gatekeeper for jj even today he at ben Askren, i had to tell him man yo bullying is not to be admired bro because why are you calling on ben Askren? ain't you 12 and 0 got, guy got more wins than me his professional record is better than mine and he feels the need to come over to misfits he fights pretty boy taylor cool mma guy but we know he's a fighter at least he's fought tommy fury he's, was jake paul's sparring partner do you know what i mean credible opponent now you're asking for slim and then you're going through the whole kenny and then just it's too much so i feel like you know he's, he's been winding up quite a lot of um people because he's just not picking within the realm that he should be picking in mams has said that he's going to do a pro division uh under misfits which if if idris virgo is not in that why is he in misfits honestly hasim idris whoever else because the list will expand it should be by default that those guys are in the pro division there should be a rule put in place where if you have over a certain amount of pro fights you automatically get entered into the pro division because we're not here to see people come into the crossover game and because i don't know they were having difficulties in the traditional game or they don't think they're good enough for the traditional game or whatever their reason may be come over to pick on the homies that have found their realm and are thriving we're not down for it so to hear leon say nah i got you and the uh, tweets did get quite animated some language that we can't use on the on the youtube otherwise we will get uh demonetized but lee went in he wanted the sparring session idris said nah no sparring straight fighting and i know that lee is gonna follow up on it and see how real this um fight with idris virgo can be now let's let's get into into the fight and and you know just like my first little preview now leon is a killer right you've seen the way this man trains we've all seen the way he trains if you would like to train with him go to leonwills.com and grab his workout plan um but yeah we've seen the, the shape that he managed to get jj into uh with his fitness whilst he was um coaching him especially with the boxing alongside me he was a big big part of the team for me when i was coaching and i, I needed him a lot i definitely used it. he was my go-to guy and to this day he's my go-to guy uh when it comes to you know snc fighting just life you know what i'm saying when you know me and it's ruin wills it's that simple it's ruin wills but leon's fighting experience consists of muay thai 
kickboxing, boxing, a little bit of MMA. Leon's dabbled in everything, sporting wise, American football. This man is an athlete, overall athlete. And I think he will expose Idris Virgo in a, in a bad way. I, I genuinely believe it. I can't see how Idris Virgo beats Leon. I really don't. It's just a different. And I feel like everyone on socials has uh, is with me and agree with me because I've seen you guys' opinion um, on Twitter. And you know what? Let me just go through it. Let's, let's just go through a couple of them right now because I like to include the people and hear what the community are really adding in here. So we go to we go to um, Idris Virgo's page. He has the recent tweet about Ben Askren. Egypt. Then he says here, three hours ago, someone has the video of Leon shadow boxing, which is just looking mad. <laughs> He's just looking hella aggressive. And uh, he says, now nah, I know why he doesn't want to fight on Misfits boxing because he will get embarrassed. First reply, ain't no way you're saying this is bad he weighs levels above you and still faster than you what are you talking about my man is faster than you he's like what five weight classes above you what in the video what in the video made you think this mate leon would turn you off spar him if you're really about it so you can see the narrative here the people don't believe that idris virgo is anyone to worry about for leon but yeah we'll we'll definitely have a room wheels episode where lee will express himself more you can hear his opinion firsthand but i just thought to sit here away from him and just give a little preview of the madness that's going on because i had to tell lee you got mel bro you got mel idris was talking he's saying i want your power i said damn so obviously once lee got the notice he ain't gonna back down from a fight it's just not his mentality it's just not how we're built so very interesting um and we ha we shall see how that develops um but yeah man interesting times i also put out a tweet recently even i don't know if i tweeted or i, I thought about it at least but maybe i did tweet about a tournament a light heavyweight misfits tournament as we know the title is vacant slim realized that the power ain't hitting like that in the heavier weight classes and he's decided to take a step down so we got enough light heavies in the misfits category weight category to have a tournament you got salt pappy there you can we can hopefully see gib over there at some point you got temper you got swarms you know you got um pineda i don't know if he's gonna if he would operate at middle more middleweight than light heavyweight but still someone that could be thrown into the mix quite a lot of light heavies it, it seems to be the star division of the promotion besides JJ being at Cruiser. So a Misfits tournament Wasabi could come back. Pretty boy Taylor. Let me know what you, you guys think about a Misfits boxing light heavyweight tournament to determine who the next champion will be. I don't think it gets fairer than that. I think everyone gets a shot. I think even the underdogs they literally get a chance to come through. So Pappy is leading right now in terms of the popularity, in terms of his boxing ability, in terms of the hype. But there's a lot of other guys that are hungry and improving every day. And there's a influencer. There is a whatever you want to call him, you know, a, a public figure who is probably looking to join Misfits every day. So Mams, let me know what you think of that one. Leon versus Idris Virgo. I don't think I need to ask you guys the predictions because the internet seems to be speaking for itself. We will be back with more content. We'll be back with more videos across all channels. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you go to Rolling Cheeky, do the same there. Ruin Wills, do the same there. And of course, click the link in my description to follow all my socials because I am more active on there now. It's the end of the video. If you don't know what I do at the end of the video, subscribe. I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me